Welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda Polias and it is 2023. It's a new year <laughs> and I am where I'm at right now is I am trying to get a sense, get tether myself to something real, something strong, <laughs> uh, like deep down inside of myself, live from my own soul more and more. So I feel more grounded and less knocked over so easily. That's where I'm at in my discipleship journey how can i listen and participate with jesus on a more regular basis i do that a lot anyway but i'm just feeling wanting to go deeper in that practice and so this is book party these are the things i'm going to be doing so i thought i would share with all of you in case that's where you're at i'm looking for people who are seeking spiritual transformation people who are wanting something more some who are, are longing for more, something deeper, and they're not exactly sure what that is. I call that thing God, and I uh, believe that Jesus is what leads us to the Lord and that the Holy Spirit speaks to us in those moments to be able to do that. And if that is speaking to you, resonating with you, please subscribe and journey along with me as I walk through my discipleship here on YouTube. If you're going into sort of a more meatier, uh, deeper journey, this is what I'm doing. Uh, a Hidden Wholeness by Parker Palmer, The Journey Toward an Undivided Life, Welcoming the Soul and Weaving Community in a Wounded World. If you know anything about Parker Palmer, anything by him is fantastic. He is someone who practices spiritual practices. He's a lot of wisdom. He's a teacher. He's very learned, but he's got a beautiful, gentle spirit. Uh, I really feel Jesus through his words, and I've always found inspiration and wisdom in his writing. This is fantastic because it includes a guide for readers and group leaders. So this is definitely a book that if you're a church leader or a group leader and you have a bunch of people who are interested in going deeper into the soul, this would be the book for you. I've really enjoyed it so far. It has 10 chapters and it really walks you through, it uh, brings you through a few, through a few journey, the whole journey, sorry. And the first chapter is Living Divided No More. The second is rejoining soul and role. The third is imitations of the soul. The fourth is a community of solitudes. So being alone together. Uh, five is preparing for the journey, creating circles of trust. Six is the power of metaphor. Seven is learning to speak and listen. Eight is experiments with truth, living the questions. Nine is on laughter and silence, not so strange bedfellows. And the last chapter is the third way, nonviolence in everyday life. So it's very thorough, very dynamic. In the first chapter, which is, you know, one of the things I love about the book, he's uh, he outlines it really, really well. And he starts with a metaphor uh, about, a f about farmers who in a blizzard will get realize that, um, you know, there aren't a lot of lights uh, at this time. And they would do, they would tie a rope from the barn to the house so that when it got like a whiteout they wouldn't go wandering off into the blizzard and perish and he asks us what is that rope for us where we have something in the storms of life we're tethered to something that's centering us that's grounding us so that we can go from one place to another and I think it's just a really wonderful metaphor because there have been so many storms but what's really grounding us what's the center of who we are and how do we get there and that's what this book is all about he says here, wholeness does not mean perfection. It means embracing brokenness as an integral part of life. Knowing this gives me hope that human wholeness, mine, yours, and ours, need not be a utopian dream if we can use devastation as a seedbed for new life. So this is in, uh, an incredible piece of wisdom that transcends Parker Palmer. It's, it's something that has echoed in other traditions as well, that it's said also this way, um, the brokenness is where the light comes in. It's about not about seeing ourselves as broken and therefore damaged and nothing, but that actually brokenness is the way, is the, sort of the starting point of our transformation. And it's to be integrated, not rejected. So that's an important starting point. In the second chapter, Across the Great Divide, he says this, as the outer world becomes more demanding and today it presses in on our children at an obscenely early age. We stop going to our rooms, shutting the door and walking into a wardrobe and entering the world of the soul. And the closer we get to adulthood, the more we stifle the imagination that journey requires. Why? 
because imagining other possibilities for our lives would remind us of the painful gap between who we most truly are and the role we play in the so-called real world. For me, this is really getting to the heart of the struggle that I'm processing in that it's like to be an adult, to fit into the world in a particular way, it's like you have to play a role that's been given to you by your parents or society or the culture at large. And it's just not what it means to be human. Uh, we're not meant to live this way, like machines um, with so much uh, imposed structure or limitations or um, like or value superimposed upon ourselves. Like you have to make X number of dollars to get here and then you'll be happy. And we know that that won't make us happy, but we don't have an alternative. And Parker Palmer is inviting us into an imagination exercise, a journey that says you're beyond these things. There must be something beyond. And isn't it worth contemplating that? He's referencing there the Narnia story where there's the children enter the wardrobe and there's this whole other world, this what's really real behind everything. That's all I'm going to say for now. The video is long enough, but that gives you a taste of what it's all about. And it would be worth going through with a spiritual director or with a group of people that are also interested in this. Thanks for joining me on my channel, A Hidden Wholeness. Pick it up today. This one comes with a DVD. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm about to. So check it out if anything that resonates. And I'll see you back on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in any of this content. If not, it's fine. You can move on. Okay, bye.